Hello guys, today I want to make a quick demo for you about database seeds and factories in Laravel, specifically with relationships, with has many relationships, based on the example by Andrew Schmelium, who created a series on YouTube about building a job board in Laravel pretty recently. So this is a seven part series on YouTube for free, around 90 minutes long, and I will review the seeds part because I really enjoyed it, how Andrew performed that. So the GitHub repository is public on github it's actually in the description of the videos of the series and when i installed that job board here's how it looks so i didn't add anything manually these come from database seeds with listings tags and some users so i already immediately can click around or use the project to understand what it does and this is a great practice to have seeds for whoever is responsible for installing that project on their servers or doing code reviews or something like that. So if you go to that repository, there's database seeders and there's database seeder file with some factories and we will review how it works. In the database seeder class, we have this. So there is no seeder class for each of the models, but it's all in one and it's really interesting how Andrew seeds the data with relationships. So what is the structure in the database? We have listings, also there are tags, and listing tag is a pivot table with many-to-many -many relationship. Also we have users, fake users, and probably that's it, I guess. And this is all seeded here. So first we seed random 10 tags. And that randomizing thing is done by so-called factories. So in tag factory, there's a set of rules, so array of rules, what should be each tag. We use faker package to fake some word and then slug. This comes from Laravel, str slug helper. And then we can use that as a factory to create 10 tags in the database seeder. Next, same thing for user factory. So we create 20 users and user factory has these rules. And this actually comes from default Laravel from what I remember. And then interesting thing happens for each of the user, there's an each method with function user and also use tags, so these ones. And then we create listings for each user, randomly one to four listings for each user. And then again, third layer, third level. For each of the listing, we attach tags, also randomly two tags from those 10, so from these ones. And this is great because we don't query the database, we take random from the same collection. So that one sentence actually uses three tables to seed the data and then those listings are on the home page again. The only thing I would improve probably is if you launch that seed, it takes quite a while, Artisan Migrate fresh seed. So the migration is quick, but the seeds take quite a while. It's like five seconds or 10 seconds, and it's not clear what is happening on the screen. So to avoid that, it's better to have seeds as separate files and then Laravel will let you know that the seeder is running. So let's generate the seeder of PHP Artisan make seeder user seeder. And let's just move everything from this database seeder into that separate seeder. So cut and then paste into that user seeder. Three models to import. Cool. And then in the main database seeder, we don't need those models anymore. And we can just call the seeder. So this call user seeder class and now let's relaunch our seeds so migrate fresh seed again and now as you can see seeding user seeder so now it's clear what is happening under the hood and now we can safely wait for five seconds knowing what is happening okay it took like 12 seconds so for 12 seconds nothing was happening if we didn't have that user seeder so that's just a small improvement for visibility and that's it. If you want full series of creating that job board, I will link in the description below the whole series on YouTube and the repository is also public on GitHub. So you can check that out and find some more tips and tricks by Andrew. And if you want more tips and tricks from me, also partly reviewing my colleagues code or code from the community, which I see on Twitter, like in this case, subscribe to the channel. And also you can support my channel financially. So I would shoot daily videos in the upcoming future for longer time. You can support the channel by checking out one of the three products that you can see on the screen, admin panel generator, my courses or live wire kit. See you guys in other videos.